Hello everybody, in today's tutorial we will learn how to handle multiple windows. For this we are going to have a look at this sample website. The link of it is given in the description. We will learn how to go ahead and navigate between tabs and we are also going to learn how to navigate between windows as well. So navigating from your main window to this other window and to your tabs. In this website we have got three buttons. So this button opens up a new tab and this one opens up a new window. This is a sample code to do the exact same thing okay and this is a line which is going to go ahead and click on those three buttons these are the ids of the three buttons if you do not know how to get the ids simply go ahead on your button right click hit inspect this is the element right here and this here is the id you can that way go ahead and inspect the other buttons and get those ids as well so without wasting any time let us go ahead and jump into the code so for our very first example, we are going ahead and clicking on the tab button, which is this one right here, which opens up a new tab. So now we have got two tabs. Now each tab has got a unique window handle. Now it is not just tabs, it's even windows. If this was a separate window, then this one would be having a separate window handle and this one would be having its own separate window handle. It is with the help of the window handle that we can switch between the two windows or between the two tabs. So the question is how do we get these window handles? So Selenium has a keyword called as driver dot get window handles and as you can see this returns for you a set of string. Here we go. Now let me go ahead and first print this to show you guys how it looks like. Here we go. Save and execute. So here we go. It opened up the browser. It opened up a new tab and if I go back to Eclipse as you can see it has got your two handles one belongs to your main window and other one belongs to the new tab which you have opened up the problem here is you do not know which one is which now there are many ways to go around this this is a technique which I follow the moment I open up my browser I go ahead and save my main window handle now where I do this is I type in driver dot get window handle not the s just handle and it returns for me a string here we go and what i do is i save this as main window here we go so now i already have got my main window now this here guys returns for me where that thing went get window handles returns for me a set right so my next step is removing out the main window the main window from this set of windows so step number two is to save the set into a variable so set oh so sorry set of what is a set of string okay this here was driver i guess so set of string let me name this as all windows equal to so with this word this is going to return for me a set that set is saved into this variable oh, set is caps I guess okay perfect now I go ahead and take this set and I perform the operation called as remove and what do I want to remove I want to remove the main window this one right here right moment I remove the main window what is left what is left is just this tab correct now just do note that this is still a set now if I were to perform the operation driver dot switch to dot switch to window as you can see it is going to accept a string which is the name or the handle right but it accepts a string it does not accept a set but this here is a set so I need to convert that one element from an object of a set into a string so way I do that is let me just type in new string new tab handle because this is the handle of the new tab which is equal to you can take that set object dot iterator dot 
next again there are many ways of doing it this is the um, way which I follow if you know that there are only one object present within the set then I go ahead and take that new tab handle and I perform driver or switch to window which window the new tab handle window here we go if I want to go back to my main window I already have the handle of the main window and in this way I can keep iterating between the main window and the new tab to show you guys that is working what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and perform um, I'm going to go ahead and print the URL of both the main window as well as the new tab so driver dot I think it's get current URL here we go and then I'm going to perform a driver dot switch to not this one but the back to the main window and I'm going to perform driver dot current URL again so this is going to print the URL of the new tab and this is going to go ahead and print the URL of your main window so save this and let me execute it and let's see how it goes okay to me an error because of this not driver should be driver execute here we go it 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 happened pretty fast but as you can see demo or uh, QA browser windows is a URL of the main window and this one sample is the URL of the new tab if I come back over here and I see the console first it printed out the tab and then it printed out the main window so sample is a tab and this one is a main window now do note that this is the exact same step that you guys have to perform for switching to tabs or switching to windows be it anything is the exact same step so if I were to go ahead and open up a new window instead of a new tab right the steps would be exactly the same in fact what should I do is um, before I switch let me put a small weight so th thread dot sleep because it's executing too fast two seconds that should be enough I guess okay and now let me execute this so this time it is going to go ahead and click the button opening a new window here we go it's going to go back to your main window as you can see it's disappeared right because it navigated it it left the focus from this window to the main window let me go back to our console and as you can see there are two different URLs this is a URL of the window and this is a URL of the main window me close this so guys one small tip before we end our tutorial many times you might go ahead and switch to your new window and it might throw you an exception that window does not exist this might happen because before the window is loaded you are trying to switch uh, so go ahead and perform an explicit wait till your new window is loaded the way you do that is going ahead and creating, win creating an object of wait such as uh, web driver wait uh, wait is equal to new web driver wait and it accepts your driver and it accepts duration duration dot seconds uh, seconds should be enough right two seconds should be enough then you can take the object of your wait and do wait dot um, wait until I guess right wait until until what expected conditions so expected conditions dot what's the condition that is uh, presence of presence of okay what is the expected condition I think it is got to do with number of windows to be and then you can go ahead and type that wait until there are two windows to be present
So this is going to wait for at least two seconds until your two windows are opened up. You can go ahead and change this if you feel that it takes more time for the window to open up, such as 10. And uh, this will go ahead and solve your problem. So guys, that is it for this tutorial. If you have any questions, do comment down below. And uh, if you like this entire series, uh, do show your support by subscribing to the channel and liking and sharing my videos. Thank you so much for watching.